Hey guys, today we're doing a beach shoot and I'm with Carlo and Amanda. Amanda's gonna be in front of the camera. So we're both gonna be shooting on the Canon EOS RP, the camera that we both love shooting on, but we're gonna be using different lenses. So this is gonna be a prime lens versus zoom lens shootout. So I'm using the 35 millimeter 1.8 RF from Canon and I'm gonna be switching lenses as I go to the 100 millimeter F2, which is a portrait lens that I really love. Carlo is gonna be using the Tamron 35 millimeter to 150. So it is a big zoom range but it means that he doesn't have to switch any lenses during the shoot. It is a variable aperture as well. So it goes from 2.8 to f4, whereas these are 1.8 and f2. So it should be really interesting to see the difference between the two lenses. Yeah, let's get into it. Let's, let's do it. Let's do it. Because <laughs> we've still got this little bit of sun coming through, I'm going to use this like little forest area. I think it works really well with the red color of what Amanda's wearing. So let's jump into it. So yeah. just follow that little path like someone's already walked there. Yeah, this is sick. I need someone to hold my 100 mil. I can put it in my pocket. Obviously, if you have a really nice zoom lens, it generally means you only need to take one or two lenses in order to cover a really big range of focal lengths, which makes you a more versatile photographer when you're on location. They also allow you to get a bigger range of shots in a shorter period of time, so you could quickly zoom in, zoom out, and get all sorts of different perspectives in the snap of a finger. All right, switching to 100 now. I'm gonna have to go way further back because it's a much more zoomed in lens. Can you, yeah, look up into your right or up into your left sorry but obviously with a prime lens you're stuck at that one focal length so in order to change your perspective you actually have to move your feet so you've got to walk back further or walk closer to your subject depending on what kind of framing you're looking to get i just gotta wait for these people the one time i wanted to shoot here peak out traffic some cons with zoom lenses, they are a lot harder to design. So generally they come with more imperfections such as distortion, chromatic aberration, and they are a little bit less sharp across the board in general when you compare them to prime lenses. And they also generally have a higher maximum aperture. So you'll see a lot of zoom lenses have 2.8 or f4 maximum apertures. And a lot of them also have variable apertures, which means as you zoom in and out, the aperture will be changing. Prime lenses are kind of the opposite to that. They generally are much sharper and have a lot fewer imperfections in terms of their design. They generally also have brighter maximum apertures, which means they do better in low light. So I'm talking about f1.4, f1.8 and f2. And you have to remember that each time you increase your aperture by a full stop, you're halving the amount of light that reaches your sensor. Hmm, maybe stand here, we'll try this first. See, this is one of the bad things about shooting primes. If you've got two lenses, you kind of Unless you have a bag, you kind of don't really have anywhere to put it. That's really good. Beautiful. <laughs> That's nice, yep. Can you do sort of like a little pose where you're like maybe holding yourself around your waist or something like that? Yeah, it's good. I like that. So on the 100 mil now, getting way more compression in the background, way more isolation for Amanda. A little smile. Keep walking towards me, Amanda. Beautiful. That's sick. Love the colors, so good. I'm pretty used to shooting on prime lenses, so the 35 and the 100 is like a really good complementary length to me. I've already done a video about 35 and 85. The only bad thing is obviously you're switching between the two lenses all the time. It can get a bit annoying. Sometimes you gotta like throw a lens on the ground or put it in your pocket or if you've got a bag or something like that. I guess that's the only downside of shooting with the two lenses and then obviously size and weight maybe. It's like, yeah, can be maybe a little bit bigger than a zoom lens at some times. I've been using this lens, or well, I've been borrowing it off Mitch now for about a month, trying to do more travel type of photography um, and to transition to a zoom lens for me is totally different and I'm, I'm loving it right now. Like I've been using it for everything, weddings, portraits, and I've been using it at 150 for surfing photos. It's so different to go from using a prime lens for like two years 
to go straight to a zoom lens. It's like totally different type of photography. One thing that I often recommend to beginners is to start with a zoom lens. The reason is that after a few months or years of shooting with a zoom lens, you'll begin to find your favorite focal lengths. In Lightroom, you can go to your catalog and see the statistics of which focal lengths you use the most. So hopefully that will inform your decision that if you choose to go down the prime lens route, which focal lengths you should probably buy. For example, if you own a 24 to 105 lens when you first start out and you see that most of your shots were taken at either 50 millimeters or 105 millimeters, that is a really good indication of which focal lengths you should go for. You should probably get a 50, maybe a 51.4 or a 100 mil or a 105. One thing that I've found shooting with prime lenses over the years is that you begin to think in those focal lengths. So when I've got a 35 and an 85 in my bag and I look at a scene, I already know what it's going to look like through my camera if I shoot it at 35 and the same goes for 85. So I can almost visualize these two focal lengths. But when I was shooting with a zoom lens, I never really thought in focal lengths because I was so used to just bringing the camera to my eye and adjusting the framing. Well, wait till this water goes back. Can you pull like one hand up? In the sky, there's like this line where the sun's setting. It's so beautiful. Beautiful. Let me know what you guys thought of the photos down in the comments below, whether you liked the ones from the zoom lens or from the prime lenses. It'd be really interesting to hear. So thanks for tuning in and I'll see you guys in the next video.